What's going on? Welcome back to Facts Lot Doors. In this video, we're gonna talk about what I think should be your first hunting experience. All right, what's going on and welcome to Fact Claw Doors. If you have not been here yet, this channel is all about the outdoors. Hunting, fishing, cooking wild game, snowmobiling, four-wheeling, riding on the trails, uh, being in the outdoors. Uh, if that interests you, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification button, we will let you know whenever we post a new video on the outdoors. All right, today we're going to talk about what I think should be your first hunting experience. If you are a new hunter, if you are trying to get into the outdoors, uh, this is my recommendation for getting started. If you don't have a friend, a family member, an uncle, a grandpa, a dad, somebody that's going to take you out on your first hunt, then my recommendation is to go with a guided hunt. And I think the best way to get started with a guided hunt would be like a guided pheasant hunt. A guided pheasant hunt is a super easy way to get in the outdoors and get a good first experience out hunting. In northern Illinois, there's a ton of clubs out there. Hopefully in your area, there's a ton of clubs. Uh, you can look up Pheasants Forever. They will get you in contact with a place to get you out and get you started. A guide will take you out, most likely in a nice controlled environment. You'll be able to follow a dog, get out and enjoy the outdoors. Uh, as long as it's not windy or raining, it's going to be just a really pleasurable experience. A guide's going to get you out there, get you following a dog. You're going to get to see a dog work birds, which is very exciting. And if you're working with like a pointing or a flushing dog, you're going to have a really good idea when that bird's going to flush and get ready to make the shot. It's usually a nice, easy, fun way to get started. It's also typically a very economical hunt you can go on. The equipment needed is very limited. As long as the weather's not too bad, you can go in a pair of jeans and you know hiking boots or something like that. Get yourself a nice blaze orange hunting coat or vest. You can go to Walmart and spend three bucks on an orange hat and you're all set. The other nice thing about going on a guided pheasant hunt is most places will let you do it just about any time of the day. They're probably gonna prefer mornings, but you know if you wanna go at nine, 10 o'clock, you don't have to get up at 3.30 in the morning and get out, fight people and battle people at the boat launch, get out and set decoys up in the dark or anything like that. It's a very easy, nice, carefree way to get started. The last thing that I think is fantastic about getting started with pheasants is that they're just all around an easy bird to clean, an easy bird to breast out, and really easy to prepare. I have tons of videos on cooking pheasant and many different recipes that you should be able to enjoy. But if you like chicken, you can basically sub pheasant into any chicken recipe and you won't be disappointed. All right, there you have it. My recommendation on your first experience out hunting. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your pheasant hunt. Hopefully you have a really good time. Uh, if you're still here and you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. All things outdoors are going to be happening here. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification so you get notified every time we put a video out on the outdoors. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.